Uh, Terry Baylor is on with Baylor Trucking, and we're going to talk about Truck Driver Appreciation Awareness Week. And uh, really nice to have you on board, Terry. Welcome to the show. Thanks so much, Mark. It's such a pleasure to be with you this week to talk about one of my favorite topics. You know, it's an incredible week when you think about all the events, all of the activities that are uh, going on uh, celebrating the American truck driver. And uh, let's talk about that. Uh, what are you guys doing? How do you see it? And welcome to the show. Thanks again. So Baylor Trucking is in our 77th year this month. Can you believe that? 77 wow. years and three generations. And my grandfather started out with one truck after serving our country in World War II. He was actually um, you know, drafted when the first in Indiana drafted, went and served our country, and had loved his high school job of filling up trucks at the gas station. So he made a little money in the service and came back and bought his, his first truck 77 years ago. And so he was a truck driver, my dad was a truck driver, and so honoring America's professional truck drivers is something so near and dear and special in my heart. So we spend this entire week with activities every day here at Baylor Trucking to make sure that not only our professional drivers feel honored and cherished and saluted as they are, but make sh making sure that the community and the entire country takes time to respect and salute America's drivers. You know, interesting to follow some of the news stories that uh, when uh, we were at the height of the COVID-19 pandemic, uh, that there was a lot of stories coming out about uh, how the truck driver, America's truck drivers, uh, were really stepping up. Uh, they were going into, in air quotes, the hot zones uh, with COVID delivering medical supplies, bringing in food, uh, bringing in water, providing comfort and things like that. Uh, let's keep that, let's keep the press momentum going here. Correct, Annette, uh, to shine a light on the industry. How do you see it? Amen, amen, because it, at Baylor Trucking, we do haul pharmaceutical goods and of course, all of the essentials that America and actually North America needs. And it's so important because it doesn't matter if it's a soccer ball or your loved one's anniversary gift or birthday gift or uh, even even chemotherapy, if you've got it, a truck brought it, and not only are the men and women behind the wheel making sacrifices, but so are their families. So when you honk your horn this week to salute our drivers, when you shake their hand, when you give them words of praise, you gotta also respect and appreciate the family at home while the driver is away delivering essentials. Talk about uh, celebrations for other uh, drivers and maybe remembering loved ones. Uh, talk about some of the things that uh, go on there, uh, always in touch, in tune uh, with the families uh, and the drivers that are working for you. Talk about a little bit about that, if you want. Sure. Every day this week, we have really fun raffles and live videos on our Facebook, um, which is Drive Baylor on Facebook.com. So we start off the week kind of emotional with, with lots of gratitude and cherish, but today was a fun day. Today we had our human version of Hungry Hungry Hippos. Yeah. So our mechanics actually get down on the floor like our childhood game of Hungry Hungry Hippos. Sure. And and they do a, a fun little bit there, and then we do raffles to celebrate. And then and we have um, a surprise video tomorrow, and Thursday is um, a crowd favorite. Thursday we do thank you very much, mm. and we have dunk tanks at our, at our offices, and then all of our employees take their turn every half hour getting dunked, and then they draw the raffle prize. Um, for our professional drivers. So that's hilarious to watch people get, sure. you know, soaking, soaking, soaking wet. Um, on Saturday night, we involved all of our professional drivers and their families, and we have chartered actually a riverboat. We're in Indiana, but we're near the Cincinnati um, marketplace. And so right. we, charter, we charter a riverboat on the Ohio River and we provide hotels and transportation, and we take um, our drivers, our professional drivers, on their families for a night of 
dinner and drinks and dancing oh, wow. um, to truly honor them. We want them to be treated like the VIPs they are. On, on Saturday during the day, um, because it is that community involvement is so essential. We're actually participating in the Make-A-Wish Convoy. Yes. And and so we had a professional driver that was just, is, they're all special to our heart, but he succumbed to the effects of COVID-19. So mm -hmm. annually, we donate $5,000 in his memory and in his honor and then his family chooses where that donation goes. So it is going to the Make-A-Wish Foundation and there'll be a trucking convoy Saturday here in Indiana and we'll have multiple trucks featured to raise money for Make-A-Wish and honor our driver Tom White. But we will also be featuring a 1967 fully restored Freightliner Cascadia Cattle. Oh, nice. Oh, that, that, that's sweet. Wow. Photoshop would imagine right up on the web right after this, right? That sounds like a sweet um, deal. Yeah, it, yeah. There'll be lots of lots of photos, and and it really allows our drivers and their families to participate in every aspect. And in, in addition to all of these fun events, um, our drivers get gloves and hats and T-shirts and lunches and Pilot Flying J gift cards. But when when we do events. Um, it's not just about the giving, but like we've talked about the awareness and the appreciation, but with the Make-A-Wish Convoy, now our community will have long-term effects in honor of Tom White, and the community gets involved and understands the heart of our truck drivers, which we love so much. I would imagine that uh, one of the most gratifying uh, things, Carrie, is to hear directly from the drivers about things that are uh, going on out there on the road, like truck parking or uh, maybe uh, the infrastructure and, and things like that. Uh, what a great collaborative effort, right? When folks come to you and say, uh, Carrie, this is going on. Can we maybe look at doing this or maybe consider redoing that? Uh, talk about the, ascent, the essential part of that, hearing from the drivers about what's going on. It's something that is near and dear to our heart, and we invite both local law enforcement, our senators, our congressmen and women into our offices to meet with our team and with our professional drivers. You know, one thing that I was a big advocate about during uh, the COVID-19 issues were our drivers not only didn't have a place to park, but they didn't have proper restroom facilities. Mm. So I just had um, a lady running for Congress in my office last week, and I said, hey, if, if you're going to help some of these shippers build distribution centers, then make sure that they have truck parking and restrooms and proper facilities for our professional drivers. Well, um, I firmly believe that if you're going to do economic incentives, for shippers to have distribution centers and there for each dock door there should be at least one parking spot and amenities to take care of these men and women so um we're super excited for the infrastructure bill and all of the construction that will happen next year our roads and our highways need it um we need this truck parking and better highways and roads for our professional drivers for utilization and most importantly for their safety all right, let's do this, Carrie. I've got a break for a few minutes. Uh, do some uh, commercials. Uh, we call it uh, moving our electronic freight, and that's uh, paying the bills and uh, getting the commercials out. And uh, let me put you on hold uh, for just a minute uh, or two. Drivers, jump in. Here we go. The phone number is 888-876-2336-8888 Road Dog. And you're going to be able to get in and join us, and we want you to come on in, be part of it. Talking a lot about truck driver. Appreciation Awareness Week. Carrie Baylor is on, president of Baylor Trucking. And uh, Carrie, thank you very much. I've got Jay Holding on the line. But uh, before we go to Jay, let's get the all of the contact points out uh, where drivers can find you at uh, Baylor. Social media website, phone number. Where can I go? Sure. It's our phone number is one 800 3 baylor That's 322-9567. DriveBaylor.com is our web address, and Facebook.com or DriveBaylor, and uh, of course you can find us on YouTube at Baylor Trucking. 
All right, outstanding. All right, let's go to the phones first up. Uh, we've got Jay. Jay, where are you calling, sir? You're on with Carrie Baylor. Well, right now I'm in Branch, Michigan. Just picked up a load for my favorite company, working for my favorite boss there, Miss Carrie Baylor. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Wow, what, a, what an honor and a, a beautiful surprise. Thank you, Jay. Good to hear from you. It's good to hear you on radio this afternoon, Miss Carrie, and that was part of the reason I called in was, you know, it is truck driver appreciation, but at the same time, we need to appreciate our owners, our dispatchers, our planners, and everybody else within the company along with our fellow drivers as well, because it's a two-way street. If it wasn't for us, they wouldn't have a job, but if it wasn't for them and doing what they do, we wouldn't have a job also. Well said. So, well uh, said. What do you think, Gary? Well said. What do you think? Thanks, Jay. Like, that is, you know, and this just speaks to the great men and women of this industry. They're always thinking of others, right? The, the heart, the mindset of a professional driver is to be on duty for America, and they're the first people to stop and help those in need. They're the first one to, you know, spot activity and notify law enforcement. And so that's why at every time I'm, you know, on the roadways or sitting at a truck stop, it doesn't matter if it's a Baylor driver or competitor or apartment carrier, you salute them, you thank for them, and you pray for their safety. So thanks so much, Jay. I appreciate that. Hey, Jay, let me ask You're you, how long, you been, how long have you been with the company, Jay? Let me ask you that. How long have you been with them? Uh, what what month is this? This is September, so I'd say since April of this year is when I okay. came aboard. Nice. And, I mean, I'm I'm not going nowhere. I mean, I've fell in love with this place and the uh, camaraderie with the, all the drivers, the uh, staff in the office, Miss Carrie Beth herself. I mean, she's a, really probably one of the best bosses I've had. Um, That's great. Proactive on social media and keeping us drivers informed on what's going on in the company. You know, Jay, I appreciate the uh, phone call and uh, thank you very much. Uh, for that, and Kerry, that's got to make you feel good uh, that he said he's found a home, and uh, that's what I think a lot of drivers are looking for uh, these days. They want to find a home. They want to find a place where they can say, you know what, I'm not going any anywhere else. Uh, what are your thoughts on that? Casey? It's the, it's the highest compliment you can have. Um, like I mentioned, truck drivers need to be respected, and they are family here at Baylor. We're a family-run business, and we treat them like family. And we want to take care of them so they can take care of their families. And one thing that Jay said, and again, that was just a total surprise call and what a blessing, is that it is very important to me to be connected with our fleet and hear their feedback. So we want to know um, where our shippers can be improved, what locations of the country they want to go to, and we keep them informed, whether it's and increases in tire costs, increases in truck costs, um, traffic, um, concerns about steering columns or parts availability, but their buy-in and making sure that they are just as informed as the people in the office just strengthens, strengthens the connection and strengthens the company. You are very much involved with uh, Women in Motion. Uh, with the American Trucking Association. Uh, what a great, great organization, a great idea. Uh, talk about this. Uh, what is that all about? Uh, uh, the image of the industry bringing more women into the trucking side. How do you see that? Sure. Um, well, as you know, Mark, a lot of Americans don't understand truly what supply chain, logistics, transportation, and what it takes to have um, our fleets deliver America. So when I came into the business over 20 years ago, I'd often go into the room and be the only woman in the room. Still one of one of very few. And it's important that not that men, women, young people all know that there are incredible careers in transportation, and they can be in sales, they can be in accounting. They can be in maintenance or safety, loss prevention. There's any field or, or specialty that you'd like to thrive in, that you have God-given talent, you can do that in transportation. So the education and the awareness of the multiple jobs and multiple career opportunities is so important. 
when you look at uh, the industry overall, there's uh, you know some uh, some naysayers, a lot of pessimism uh, among some, but uh, the industry overall is really doing well. Correct in that? I mean, you've got men and women so dedicated uh, to getting the job done, moving America's freight, uh, being able uh, maybe to pivot on a dime uh, if the need calls for and there's a lot of inspiration from that right just just knowing that all of that is in place how do you see it? yeah so the the hearts the minds the desire the commitment the pride in trucking and the pride in our yep. professional drivers that's what makes this industry so unique and so special they are truly the workforce the, the people on duty, the superheroes for America. And so working with them every day is different. Every day is a joy. And when they, they you know, we say at Baylor, faith, family, freedom, and truck. Because these men and women feel the call of duty for America, and they will pivot on a dime to make anything happen. And so will the infrastructure of people behind them supporting them. All right, Kerry, thank you. I'm just about out of time, got about a minute or so left, and uh, thank you very, very much for joining me on a program and talking uh, with folks all across North America. Before I let you go, uh, one more time, where can folks find you guys it's up on the web, uh, social media, all the platforms, and the phone number? Where can I go? Yeah, Mark, please, we want all of America to share their stories. It does not have to be a Baylor driver. Um, we want them to share the stories with hashtag thank a trucker. Hashtag NT Daw 2022. Check us out on Facebook at Drive Baylor and uh, DriveBaylor.com. Thanks so much and wonderful National Truck Driver Appreciation Week. Be safe and God bless y'all. Terry, thank you very much uh, for joining me on the program. And again, that is Terry Baylor, uh, the president of Baylor Trucking, talking with you guys all across North America about the importance of truck driving during Truck Driver Appreciation Awareness Week.